Shalom. Shalom. Okay. <clears throat> A lot more people than that in here in this room. Just hold on, everybody. We're going to be getting it started here. Hold on. Yeah, YouTube is faking us out. Okay, there we go. All right. <clears throat> All right. So here we are again, brothers and sisters, to bring out another lesson. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom to the hopefully elect. And this one is going to be entitled The Long Haired Demon and the Spirit of Mirth. All right, the long-haired demon in the spirit of mirth, and, and the apostles were just talking about this over the past camp. They were speaking on, you know, brothers having long hair. Okay, so it comes up again. So let's just start right here in uh, Second Timothy three and twelve. Yeah, and all that live godly in Hamashiach shall suffer persecution. We all know persecution is on the way. You can be persecuted by your own people different you know weird israelites right just many things that that come along with this ministry but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse deceiving and being deceived and we know that that's also there you're gonna have those that teach false doctrine then deceive themselves and also deceiving others with their errors verse 14 but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned you don't go off to the right or the left you stay with the hundred percent doctrine and has been assured of knowing of whom thou has learned them. You know who you learn from. The men you learn from, the apostles of Great Millstone, just like us, we believe that they are the men of the Lord. And we can see by their works. And that from a, that from a child thou has known the Holy Scriptures. And that's the whole thing. Everything goes back to the scripts. Everything goes back to the Bible. If it's not coming out of the Bible, you do not believe it. And then on top of that, it's got to have the correct breakdown, right? It's got to have... It, it, the Bible explains itself, but even inside of that, the Spirit is going to reveal certain mysteries unto the elect, and the other people just not simply they're got, not going to get it. So it says in that from a child that has known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Here's the point: all Scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High. The Bible was written by the Most High through men, and is profitable for doctrine, for proof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. You see, so when we correct individuals, we tell them according to the scriptures, it's not out of hatred, but it's perceived that way, and that's fine. But this is the reason why we do it, that, that the man of the Most High may be perfect. Come on, brother, ain't nobody perfect, brother. You've been perfect. Perfect in the spirit, man. It's perfect in the spirit. Perfect in doctrine. Right. Also perfect knowing what that your your uh, your heart is perfect with the Lord because you don't follow other gods and idols. That the man of the most high being be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So we're going to start off right there with that scripture. Now, this uh, lesson is going to be based upon some comments, uh, a question, you know, which is which is left on the comment board. And then we're just going to see what the spirit does. I mean made <laughs> the level so you know just just fasten yourself in because jake be on some other shit all right so from the comment board here we have a long ass comment and there's other comments too so first we're going to deal with the long hair demon and yes a man wanting to have long hair that's a demon on you especially when you read or you hear it being told in the scriptures that it's a shame for a man to have long hair 
and you still want to do it after that, that's because you have a demon. You got a demon of vanity. You got a demon of narcissism and just plain demons. So this is a brother. I'm assuming. Yeah, well, it's a brother. Repent. Be converted is his name, right? Now, it says three hours ago, but this video, this comment was left, I guess, overnight. It was from one of the videos. I can't. Oh, it was from the video. Of course, uh, many Israelites are not born again. <clears throat> I just explained it. Leper. I just explained it. Long hair is not the demon. It's the spirit that comes with that. The Bible tells you it's a shame for a man to have long hair like a woman. It's a shame. It's a shame. It's a blood clot shame. You can try to use Samson or whoever else in the Bible. It doesn't matter. It's got nothing to do with you. It's got nothing to do with you. In our time now, the scripture says it is a shame for man to have long hair with a woman. You break it down. You break it down. And we're telling you now, why don't you people just be quiet and listen? Is there something wrong with long hair? Not necessarily, no, if it's on a woman, but it's not for men, okay? And as you're going to see from this comment, let's just read on. Let's not get excited. So repent and be converted. Repent, be converted, said this. And that person named Dizzy, you know, yeah, let's just move on. Why bother? <laughs> Jake, don't get emotional over nothing. We're going to read it to you out of the scriptures and we ain't making it up. And our elders and apostles said this, the people that you learn from, because if you learn from us, you learn from them. They can't be right on one hand. Then on the other hand, everything they say is, you know, you don't want to listen now. That's because you got the long hair demon. You don't want to cut it. You got to cut that zero and get with a hero. The hero is your house shot. The zero is that long ass hat on your back. You got to get over it. Repent, be converted. Shal and his brother says, Shalom, bro. I have a question. I've been studying under GMS Salakia. I've been studying under GMS for a year and found a camp in my area a few weeks ago, literally through the spirit. First off, if you've been studying under GMS for a year, you have had to have heard it mentioned about the long hair. But let's go on. He says, I can paraphrase the doctrine, but cannot quote book chapters and verse numbers exactly without Googling phrases. Yeah, the brother said it. Uh, and dreadlocks is not our custom, by the way. Jake tried to play with words. Well, it says Samson had locks and locks and the locks. It's way different. You got to look these words up. Dreadlocks is a heathen custom. It goes back to the false god of Shiva, which the East End is worshipped. And they are called Shiva Jatas. Look it up if you don't believe it. Just, just be quiet all, with all the questions. Listen to the lesson. What have you had down? Just above your nose. Come on, man. Damn. Get with it. And dreadlocks is an our cousin. The brother is right. We're going to get this lesson out. We're going to start ignoring folks. And the moderators, do your duty, boy. Do your duty. GMS Azaria, Yasharala, Chalawam Azaria from Pittsburgh. But all these body boys nowadays, you will be better off avoiding womanly features. In example, long hair. That's right. That's right. And, and Jake is especially attached to your damn hair these days. I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, let's get back, back to it. Let's keep going here. All right, so the brother says, I can paraphrase the doctrine, but cannot quote book, chapters, and verse numbers exactly without Googling phrases. I preached with them for, I preached with, I preached for a few days with them. Recently, the leader refused to accept me because I sternly refused to cut my hair. He said he sternly refused. He stood up for his rights. <laughs> he refused to cut his hair. It's got juices and berries in it. Let's go on. I already knew this scripture long before I met the camp, but decided to keep my long hair. You heard that? He knew the scripture about men having long hair, but he decided to keep it. See that? I already knew this scripture long before I met the camp, but I but decided to keep my hair, my keep my hair long, as I've only cut it a few times in my life. Before I met the camp, I did think I shouldn't have it out because it does fall down into a mane-like fro. So I put it in braids to appear more manly. <laughs> so if you already knew, if you already knew that it, it looked feminine, but you put it in braids to be more manly, you already know this, there's a problem here. But that's okay. Let's keep going. He says, the braids hang to my neck. The scripture says we look on the outer, but the Lord looks at the heart. It has nothing to do with your hair. 
a commandment from the Lord has nothing to do with you finding that in another scripture talking about the Lord look on the outward. I mean, a man looks on the outward appearance. Yeah, but the Lord told you the same one looks on the inward appearance to cut your damn hair. You see what Jake doing? Yeah, right. He says, <laughs> the braids hang to my neck. The scripture says we look on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Yeah, but if you won't follow the commands of the Lord, then something is wrong in your heart. Is it not? These, these people, boy, they, <laughs> Jake, go, you know, okay, well, whatever. This is talking about men, by the way. It's not talking about women. Women should have long hair, okay? Defane Warren, women should have long. I guess you're a woman. I don't know. <laughs> Let's keep it going. Yeah, and this right here, don't let hair be a stumbling block unto you. Good Lord. I mean, really. Man. So, let's go on. He says, the scripture says we look on the appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. He, and let's go to the next. Uh, Just give me a chance it's here. I got to piece all these together. Just hold on. Okay, here it is. He says, my hair is something the Lord blessed me with. I didn't explain nothing to the camp leader when he brought it up. Except the fact that I thought braids would raise that feminine look. You, you hear this? Let's read it again. My hair is something the Lord blessed me with. Yes, hair is a blessing. But at the same time, what did he tell you to do with it? What did he tell you to do? My hair is something the Lord blessed me with. I didn't explain nothing to the camp leader when he brought it up. Except the fact I thought braids would remedy that feminine look. Well, if you knew it was feminine, that means braids ain't going to make it better. You should have cut it. Listen to this. He tried coaxing me to cut my hair, and I was stubborn about not cutting my hair. He replied, then I cannot join the camp, and I left immediately without issue or even a goodbye because the scripture says, shake the dust off our feet. <laughs> Woo, we really miss you, Jake, the way you make me laugh. He says he left and didn't even say goodbye. All right, because the scripture says, shake the dust off our feet and bid them not fair. Well, it doesn't say that for you not cutting your hair. It says that when they won't receive the gospel. You see how Jake mixing the scriptures up? <laughs> and then let me say this. I shared this with, with a, a, a multitude of brothers and took it under counsel with different brothers. And we all arrived to the same opinion. Cut your damn hair, Jake. Stop being a bitch. And I ain't saying it. Let me take that back because I don't want the brother to think I'm cussing at him. But stop acting like this stop acting black you have to man up you gotta man up that's all it is to it man excuse me brother i wasn't calling you a bitch but i mean come on man this some this some you know what i mean act like you got a pair anyway he says he he shook off the dust so you know shook the dust off now they they already preaching the word you're new you've been listening to the apostles and elders of great millstone they're coming under the the council of the apostles and elders of great millstone and approved men on the street, but then they're wrong about the long hair. So you shook the dust on them. You already going off. It says the Lord says ye shall know a tree by its fruit. That's true. And you are showing the fruits of a, uh, uh, of some type of tree, a nutty tree. I went out, showed up on time and cried out for a few weeks with men. I did not know. I don't have animosity to the brothers because I know each camp is slightly different. I only want your opinion on it because it's been bothering me a bit. That's the spirit telling you that you was going off, man. I want to continue doing the work of the Lord. I still want to study under GMS. I'm planning on going out alone to preach for the first time. So instead of going by the counsel that the brothers gave you and they, and, uh, and they know they came right out of the scriptures with it, you decided you're going to keep your long hair, right? You're going to dip on them. You're going to dust off <laughs> or whatever. So you the man of the Lord. And they just, they're nobodies. You're just going to, you know, now you want to ask my opinion about it. What do you think I'm going to say? And I, I'm not the apostle. But for edifice, we'll, you know, we're gonna, but then, of course, that ain't it. When, it. when the tears and the emotions start coming out, you know, you're going to get a damn, a run on sentence, a Harlequin romance, and the goddamn cliff notes. All right, so he he asked, he said he's going to go out and preach by himself. Also, should I choose the same city when they are not there to preach in a different in or a different one? Let me read that again. 
Also, should I choose the same city when they are not there to preach in or a different one? So he already gone. It's a foregone conclusion. He's going to do his own thing and he's going to keep the long hair. He says, Sakari also teaches around that spot as well. I think the Lord used them to show me how it is to preach, meaning the brothers. I think the Lord used them to show me how it is to preach, but also put a spirit on them to reject me and ultimately build me up. Only if you're going to heed the counsel. Otherwise, it may just be for you to be rejected and destroyed. If you're going to heed the counsel, then yeah. But if you're not going to heed the counsel, still yeah, but for a different purpose. It's a trip because I was telling the Lord how the brethren felt so unreal and that I appreciated it. Minutes just before that, this situation happened. But I understand force not the course of the rivers. I don't want to put my hand to the plow and be damned. Thank you. All right. So, you know, like I said, I, before I answer back, I sent it around to many brothers got you know the brotherly opinions and advice um this one let's find my response so i told a brother um i can find it just hold on brothers so yeah let that percolate <laughs> i know his brother's cutting because look we was man after i read it and, and listened to what the brothers had to say right i came back i said just cut your hair man go apologize and fall under the order you you cut your hair you go back and tell the brothers you're sorry, you didn't mean, you know, you, you, you didn't mean no disrespect, whatever. However, you have to square it up, you see, because that's what you have to do, man. You got to grow up. You got to understand that this is not about you. The preaching of the gospel is not about you and you do not belong to yourself. Look at that comment, boy. Good Lord. I told him, go back and apologize and fall under the order. Long hair on men and the truth is unacceptable. The elder apostles just spoke on this the past weekend. No long hair in GMS. But even if you open your own camp to even if you open your own camp to have long hair is going off. First Corinthians 11, 14. That not even true that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. You can argue it. You can say, Paul, not a man of the Lord. You can say whatever you want to say, which is not, it was not true. Because you have a shot taught Paul personally. Did he not? We all know that. So it says, does not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair it is a shame unto him? Before you bring up Samson, before you bring up Samuel, anybody else, what did this say and what does it have to do with you? You were not a Nazarite. Samson was a Nazarite. And you can't choose being a Nazarite because the Nazarites are chosen. You can't just say, oh, I, I like the fact I got long hair. I want to be a Nazarite. No, no, no. The Lord didn't put the spirit on you to be a Nazarite. And that's a heavy, heavy calling. Don't just, that's something you don't just enter into unadvisedly. But at the end of the day, you got to do what you do. So that scripture told you, that's one from the New Testament. That's going to the old. Ezekiel 44, 20. This was talking about the priests, the sons of Zadok. But are we not all priests now? Yes, we are. It says, neither shall they shave their heads. Meaning if you got an afro, you ain't going to cut your damn head bald. You ain't going to go Egyptian route. And by pointing out my head and saying that I'm, I'm not completely bald. I have hair. And I got a gigantic bald spot in the top. So whatever kind of hair could I get, you know, we know the story. So neither by pointing out another brother is that going to clear you from guilt. Neither shall they shave their heads nor suffer their locks to grow long. They shall only pull their heads. When you pull your head, it means you trim it down. You can only cut your hair down low, you know, within limits, within reason, right? You can't, and it's already told you the limit. You can go so far as you can get all the way. You can look like me because you can put on the smallest guard and I cut my hair with it. That's how I get a haircut. I put on the smallest guard and, and, and cut it close. That's where I'm at. Okay. So y'all see that, that right there, that exchange. What is wrong with Jake? So I told him to cut his hair. Y'all saw the response, and he didn't ever answer back. Now, what he did do, before I could respond, he was on another video on the comment board. And let's find it now. I'll show you to it. I'll show, show it to you. This is Repent, Be Converted on a separate video, right? Before I could even answer back. I don't know if he put this one up first or after. I think it's afterwards. 
but uh he's already moved on in his mind he's gonna do his own thing he's gonna keep the long hair but he's asking me wanting to get advice so i could be involved in i already answered your question but I'll, I'll show you this he says how many scriptures should i know by heart before i start street preaching i am not good at memorizing scripture but i know the doctrine that can quote paraphrase verses now there's another brother that answered his question but i took it off because it, you know the advice was not you know I wasn't in agree wasn't in agreement with the brother's advice because this is what I want to relay. The first thing you need to do is get your situation straight regarding the long hair. What city are you in? I want to know where he is in the United States. That would have told me two things. That would well, the main thing it would have told me is what camp he possibly went up to. Because I didn't I didn't ask around or nothing, and nobody made it known. But I'm wondering, you know, what camp was this? So I. I told him the first thing you need to do is get your your situation straight regarding your hair now you got to understand this let's, let's go and delve into that a little bit there's an offense that was created because you left the brothers you didn't say goodbye you didn't make your point you didn't cut your hair so you got to get that cleared up first before you move forward you need to first if nothing else talk to them brothers you know speak to them brothers apologize do what you gotta do what you should do like i said cut your damn hair and then go and get squared away with the brothers. I'm sure when you show up with your hair cut as a man, and you go talk to the brothers like a man, face to face or whatever on the phone, have you do it. But if you show them you cut your hair, they're gonna know you're sincere right away, right? And then you get the other other stuff out of the way. Okay, no braids and dreadlocks not the same. You, how can you not know that? What do dreadlocks look like? They look like stank, matted, nasty. You know, cake together, sour, stank, dead hair. That's what they look like. Braids are different. But even with braids, you still stand the risk of them being too long. What's what's hard about it? I remember when we grew up, Jake used to love to get the, the nice low haircut on all sides, right? Just even all the way. What's wrong with having an even haircut? You look so good, so-called black men, when you just cut your hair and you keep it neat and you and you, you got your beard and your, your sideburns together. Women love it. They love it. Even the little bit of hair I got. My wife playing my beard all day. You're going to be all right. You're going to still be handsome. That hair down your back, just from an objective standpoint as men, hair down your back, you look like a bitch. You look like a bitch, man. I'm going to just say it straight. There's too much emphasis being placed on your goddamn hair as men. What the fuck is going on with you? This is not about you. It's about the truth. Cut your fucking hair and act like men. Or you can just go... Go be with other little weird ass Israelites. They look like a bunch of faggots, man. To be perfectly honest. Let's go on. It's easier to cut it. You know, walk around the earth with scrunches on your damn hair the rest of your life. See, this is the type of stupid shit. Jason Schaffner. So all the men in the Bible had had low cut hair? No. Some of them had afros. What the fuck are you talking about, man? No, we ain't gonna go there. See? You ain't gonna go there. What about Samson? Samson was a Nazarite. Are you a Nazarite, Jason? Are you any right? Are you in, in are you even an Israelite? Do you teach? You have videos? Do you do anything for the Lord? Let's go on. So let's read some from the brotherhood off the comment board. <laughs> What's going on, man? What's the problem here? <laughs> why are you guys so stuck on your damn hair? We know the reason why. Oh, okay. Look at this guy. I thought you was all right, Lanky Prepper. You just told me the other day how much of a blessing these videos was. You was glad to find this page. Now you you done revert. But see, this is a stumbling block. And don't blame it on me. It's your emotions that you can't hold in check. Let me find this comment. Okay. You're using words from the world. See, this truth is, is a gigantic sifter. The Bible is a gigantic sifter filled with stumbling blocks. Okay, lanky prepper with the by the way, your hair is pretty. Hair has nothing to do with sexuality, it's just he's just homophobic. <laughs> oh boy, come on, man. Why why are you doing this, Jake? Do you not see us going into stuff? What does the house of Shemai represent in Zechariah 12 13? We'll get back to you, Chief. Okay, we're dealing with something else right now. Yeah, this is a great scripture. This is GMS, a troop shall overcome. Second Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if any man be in the anointed or Hamashiach, he is a new creature. 
You got to be a new creature, my brother. You got to be a new creature. That's all. And these things of the world, you got to leave that stuff behind. That hip hop, that rap, that stupid, abominable music. Even the way the rappers look, look walking around, ooh, looking all ice grill and everybody, pants hanging off, gold teeth. It's, it's ugly. It's stupid. It's weird. But you can do whatever you want to do. Okay. Let's see here what we got. Just let, I'm going to go all the way up on the comment board and I'm going to read some of these, you know, comments and whatnot. Nah, just do what we get, brothers. All right. Um, you read the two scriptures that go with it, right? And, and and this is this kept coming out. This kept coming out a lot. So is your hair worth salvation? This is the brother Kabat. I think the brother's name Kabat. So like your brother. I know your name. I know your real name too, because you're from down here in South Carolina. But I can't all the brothers' names. I think it's Kabat though. From GMS South Carolina Midlands Camp. So your hair is worth salvation? Come on, man. Grow up. I mean, you can grow a nice fro and, you know, if you want to have it knotted with lead in it, uh, you know, I would still talk shit about you, but, you know. What, what are you talking about? What does this have to do with what we just read in the scriptures? You see more gay people with shiny bald heads, to be honest. Okay. Cool. Cool. But it still looks feminine for a, a man with long hair. It's fucking feminine, bro. Even the dude with long hair said it. Yep. Brother Tyler Bar from GMS Phoenix, gonna have to make damn change, Jay. You gotta make a damn change, man. That's all. Having long hair for a man is unattractive. All the women in the troop would tell you this. The women of the world may say they like long hair, but are you gonna take advice from them? These helpers that cut on their bodies and want to get BBLs, you gonna take advice from them? Damaged goods, heavy on the damage, low on the goods. Ah. <sighs> Jim S. Tazabal Moth, 2nd Edges 1434. Therefore, if so be that ye will subdue your own understanding and reform your hearts, ye shall be kept alive. And after death, ye shall obtain mercy. You got to do what the Lord said. You can't do what you want to do. What's Jake saying? That's right. I'm going to come back. I'll get to that. <laughs> I'm never going to be able to read all these scriptures. And, and I knew Jake was going to say this. Look at this guy. He's saying that because his hair fell out already. <laughs> okay. Touche. You got me. Now what? You still got to cut your hair. And from now on, you are not allowed on any of these channels. You're acting like a, a spoiled little bitch. You're acting like a brat. That feminine hair is going to get you destroyed by the Lord. You're going to get burned up, man. But that's okay, though. The relationship is over now. You can just stay out from around us. Don't watch the great millstone videos because we all speak the same thing just go find the y'all israelites and follow them man so we'll see you when we see you we'll find out who's right or wrong okay you see this dude is hurt he is hurt looking like rick james <laughs> from 1970 do you have the knee-high red boots too ambassador of yahweh yahweh let's read it again ezekiel 44 20 neither shall they shave their heads nor suffer their locks to grow longer long uh they shall only pull their heads you heard it jake you heard it lanky prepper <laughs> i guess he's a tall guy lanky prepper all right no videos on the page he wants to, to correct us thanks let's keep it moving and you'll probably hear more about this because a couple of brothers said they was going to do lessons on it um we'll just see all right we'll just see all right um I'm going to read some of these great scriptures. Let me just find the ones you want. Uh, look at this person. See how this shit got nothing to do with us. I wasn't even around then. We teach it now. Donovan Rodney, Alex McMillan. And I'm not an elder apostle. We told, let's just make an announcement. All, the, all you new brothers and sisters, the elder apostles, that's a, a title reserved for our elders that teach. Okay. We're not elder apostles. Was it 1967 that Rabbi Abba Bivens started teaching in Harlem, New York? What year did the Northern Kingdom of Israel arrive in the Americas? Come on, man. You can look that shit up yourself. Look it up yourself, cuz. And what is like the brother said, what does that have to do with, with now? So you can't go all the way back and like the like the Christians try to do and say something wrong with the doctrine from way back then. What do we teach now? We didn't even come into the truth till 2009. From then until now, what the fuck does that have to do with us? Anything you bring up, you got to deal with what we're doing. 
and these prophecies is beating you all across the head and face anybody trying to come against the truth we ain't worried about it we ain't worried about you like that I said, brother just to anybody trying to circumvent what we teach you can fuck off and kick rocks and if you think you got something against this truth what you gonna do come into the scriptures and, and deal with it then because we know you ain't got the juice this is Jim S. Tazabai Moth. In the law, the priest had to wash every time to go to the altar. You don't wash locks. It can't be our custom. There you go. See that? Just some sound reasoning. <clears throat> yep. Brother saying juice is in berries. Jake is naturally rebellious. Yep. Jim, kingdom come. Damn. No, you're supposed to cut it, but say F it. Yo, that's rebellion. And the brother got the scripture. This, this is Kazak Banya Howder, First Samuel 15, 23. For rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. You hear that? Let's read it again. For rebellion is as sin and witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. It was speaking about King Saul. But you can also apply it to now because rebellion is still the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry, right? Yes. And this is the thing. We're not going to come to your house and follow you around and, and see if you cut your hair or not. We Nobody's going to do that. We're not going to hog tie you and make you cut your damn hair. You It's a simply a difference of you want to follow the doctrine or you don't. You want to follow the Bible or you don't. If you don't want to follow the Bible, that's okay. Go do what you want to do. This is only for who is for. The gospel is only for a select group, which is the elect. If you don't want to do what the Lord said, then just do what you want to do. And you may say, well, I don't like this group. See, this is what you're, you're finding this out. Great Millstone is not a group that, that we just take everybody in. No, we're just looking for the elect. Well, the, the, the Lord is looking for the elect, and he uses men as a filtering process. We, use, we go into the scriptures. If you can't handle it, we understand that. We're not surprised by it. We're used to this and we and we prefer it. So we know who's around us and who's not. Mm. What the hell does this guy talk about? The most high's name is Yahweh. It's not Yah. Okay. Yah means he. You gonna call on he? Is that who you're gonna call on? Come on, man. Grow up. You got all the information at your fingertips and won't look shit up. Let's keep it moving. Let's read this one again. Salvation of the elect. First Corinthians eleven fifteen. But if a man have long hair, it is a glory to Lockie. But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is giving her for a covering. <laughs> you want the woman's covering for yourself. You can't have it. You can't have it, brother. This is GMS Virgin Islands Straight Gate. So we can get it to come up here. Isaiah 39. And again. Trying to talk shit to me is not going to get you off the hook with the Lord. I'm not the Lord. And if you don't like the way we teach, you don't like the meal we're serving, okay, take your ass to another restaurant. But don't ask us nothing. Don't ask us to break nothing down to you. Stop coming around us sniffling and sneezing and crying and whining and peeing on yourself like little brats. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. You need us. We don't need you. We're the men that the Lord sent. You don't like the way we look? That's tough. Because this is what you get. You can, you can go follow the purple and gold and Christ. Christ. Go follow Christ. We ain't here with that. We here with the true and living God. The name of the Father and Son. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. See? Which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets. Prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceased. That's what Jake wants. Jake wants to tell them. A vision of our heart. It says, <clears throat> come on now. Get you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. This is what Jake wants. Jake wants the, the true way of the Lord to cease from before them. You want to go the American route, but you're not Americans, though. And But if you say, yeah, I am American, I'm going to have a good American. You, you are. And we're going to leave you alone. You can't go based upon your heart. This is uh, Jim Escobar, Dama, Jeremiah 17 and 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Can a brother please put up? 
Ecclesiastes 32, 17. Let's read it for all the people that's making excuses. Let's talk about Samson. Let's talk about me. What, what does my head got to do with your head? What the Lord told you to do. I don't have long hair. I don't have dreads. I don't have a, so we, we ain't bringing out what the scriptures say. We making up an excuse. We hate long hair and we making up a doctrine to keep you from having long hair because we jealous because my hair fell out. <laughs> oh boy, we're gonna really miss you the way you make us laugh. Look at Daniel Rogers. You got the demonizer demon up. What the fuck is you talking about? Why are you even here? Batiman. Demonizing you. I don't even know you. GMS heavy honor 144 James 122 be ye doers of the word and not hearers only you got to do what the word says this ain't about what I said all the people that got a problem with with the long with us saying the long haired demon can you break down first Corinthians 11 14 for us tell us what it means shame for me to have long hair can you break it down for us why don't you do a lesson on it let's hear about it maybe we're wrong and you can convince us do a breakdown you're gonna do we'll see Mm. These Israelites are like kids, man. Damn, these motherfuckers is hurt over that hell, boy. Jake won't velvet ropes in their head. That's what well, the brother had already put it up. The water, though. This is exactly what's going on. Aria ha y'all. Ecclesiastes thirty-two seventeen. Listen close. A sinful man, a dude that's in his ways and his emotions, his feelings. He's sinful, right? A sinful man will not be reproved, but finds an excuse according to his will. Come on, brother. Samson had lost. This man had lost. Everybody in the Bible had long hair. Everybody in the Bible had short hair. If you look on the Targums, on the on the hieroglyphics, don't you see Israelites working, getting bricks for the Egyptians? They had long hair. We gave you the answer to it already. Every captivity that Jake went into, what was they doing? They was going off. They was going after the ways of the nations. You don't understand that like they're doing now. What is Jake doing? They having long hair. The women are cutting their hair short. They're shaving their bald on one side, long on the other. They're getting BBLs, lip surgery, cheekbones, breast augmentations, for goodness sakes. They're doing every type of wickedness. They're doing threesomes and twosomes and sex parties. They're doing everything. Why, do they do, why are they doing it? Because the ways of the wicked have seduced them. So we're the called out ones. You've been called out of that. So you got to repent and be converted. Now, if I'm a person with long hair and I got an issue with it, I'm not going to click on the video to talk shit. I'm either going to say, you know, let me listen to this because they're saying something or I don't want to hear that. I'm going to watch something else. Why would you just click on the video to, to talk shit? Why would you do that? Because you're a demon. That's why you're pricked by the gospel and the Lord is preparing to fuck you up. That's what's going on. A sinful man will not be reproved. But find an excuse according to his will. You're looking for an excuse, a way around the Bible. And this is what a lot of Israelites do. I, you, I see it. They're experts at it. They're experts at going around the name of the Lord, going around the Karagma, going around having sex on the Sabbath. They, they're good at giving you great area. But in the end, it ends one, one way. You won't fight. That's how it ends. Or something worse. Or something before that, should we say. Because ain't nothing worse than getting burnt in that fire. Boy. We get ready to move on, but first let's just let's, let's just go through a little bit of this. All right. Um, <laughs> I can't believe Jay stooped that low. You just said your hair fell out. If I wanted to, I could grow an afro with a bald spot at the top, but it wouldn't look pretty, you know. So my hair didn't fall out. Truth be told, homeboy. But it's all good though. It's all good. We expect that low level tactics from, you know, men that's hurting the spirit. Look, person that's keep talking about GMS Seattle. You got to look it up. Search for them. Type in GMS Northwest, GMS Seattle, right? Type it in and look for them. You'll find them. You'll find them, brothers. If anybody got a link, no, you know what? No, let them do their own homework. If the Lord wants you to find them, you'll find them. Talks about GMS Talks about Moth. Second is 1434. Oh, you know what? We did read this one already. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. We're gonna really go. Let's, we're gonna move on shortly because we got a lot more. You know, other people wanted to cuss me out and cuss us out, so we got to get on. All right, this is our GMS Virgin Island Straight Gate. Great scripture, John three and seven. Marvel not that I said unto thee, 
ye must be born again. Do you think that their men in Great Millstone didn't have long hair? Most brothers had long hair, even myself at the time. We understand that. We all, not all, everyone, but most of us had long hair and smoked weed and did these things we're telling you not to do. We've been there. We've done that. We have the experience. You don't. But you don't have to listen. You can do whatever you want to do. You don't have to take advice, the spiritual advice. Jim at Chicago Kingdom Come, Ecclesiastes 6 and 2. Extol not thyself in the counsel of thine own heart, that thy soul may be torn in pieces as a bull straying alone. You can't do it yourself. If you could, if you had the counsel that was the right counsel, you wouldn't you wouldn't have arrived at the conclusion that you did that something was going on in the earth. You would have delivered yourself a long time ago. The most high sent men to teach y'all, right? You new people, the most high sent men to teach us, and light man, he sent us to teach you guys. Can somebody please put up um the secrets to the servants of prophets? You know where it is. This is uh Howard Shy about a body of Proverbs 14 and 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto to a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. You can see, you can feel like you're doing the right thing according to what you want to do. And it can be leading you to after destruction. You can't get for it. Because this is why. Humble servant. Aharon. Isaiah 55 and 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. Didn't that guy say his hair was a blessing from the Lord? And he ain't, ain't going to cut it for no. He didn't say that, but. His overall thought was he ain't going to cut it because it was a blessing from the Lord. There are many blessings that, man, men had children that were their blessings and they had to sacrifice them or give them up for the Lord's sake. The scripture is all about forsaking your own self, right? Not wanting to save your own life, not wanting to do your own thing, forsaking all things. Peter asked, the, asked you how was shy. We have forsaken all and followed thee. What should we have there for? And what do you how was I say? Everybody that gave up all these things for my sake, they're going to get it all back in the kingdom. This is GMS of Gabar Dhamma, Hebrews 13, 17. Obey them to have the rule over you and submit yourselves for they watch for your souls as they that must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief. For that is unprofitable for you. The Lord put us in the gap to keep you from falling into the gap. But damn, if you get out of the way, I want to fall in the gap. Well, be our guest. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead and do it. GMS Azaria. He got tested and failed that quick. If you appreciated the brotherhood, then be in agreement and cut that ish. Yeah, man, just cut it. Just cut your dog on hair. <clears throat> That's it. It's plain. Just comply. Just comply with what the Lord telling you to do. None of us ain't trying to do nothing to hurt you. See, it's an evil plot from Great Millstone to pretend to keep you from prevent you from having long hair, because the long hair is what's gonna really save you. See, if we can, if we can find a way to get you to cut it, then you could be destroyed like us. That shit don't make sense, man. Get with it. <clears throat> Let's go on. Let's see here. Let's get this one. <clears throat> GMS Chicago GMS Chicago Kingdom Come Ecclesiastes 37 16 Let reason go before Every enterprise And counsel before every action You don't know it You put The most I put you in there In the council with the brothers You could have asked them all the different ones You could have said brother do I need to cut my hair You have to understand that Nobody's here trying to hurt brothers especially men that come into the truth To teach we only want to see you win but if we give you advice based upon what the Lord said and you go against that, what you want us to do? Mm. Azanaboth, Luke 9, 62. And Yahweh said unto him, no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the most high. Yeah, now you done started doing the work. Now you're without a camp, but you're ready to embark on that journey by yourself. It's not a good thing. I mean, we'll see. But you now you got to keep going. Now you got to go. Same brother. Ephesians 422 that you put off concerning the former conversation. The old man, the old man had dreads down his back. It's time to get rid of it, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Even the way you look at things, you got to look at things different. You can't go according to emotions. 
That's that feminine shit. That's that long hair demon telling you you've been growing that long, that same lot. You only cut your hair three times since you've been alive. Big deal. It's time to cut it. How many times have you ever been able to have the knowledge that can save your life? That's a new thing to you. Don't you want that instead of the old thing, just having your hair? I mean, come on, man. You will find out how many people will say, I'm glad you cut it once you cut it. They ain't going to say it while you got it. That's how our relatives are. They'll see you doing something. They'll be hating it the whole time. But once you cut it, they'll come and tell you how much how much better you look. And, and I'm not even going to say that because we ain't nobody trying to coax you into cutting your hair. It's for your own damn good. If you can't see that, then you can keep the shit. Whoever you are, keep it then. We'll see how far you get. It goes on. It says, and that you put on the new man which after the most high is created in righteousness and true holiness. We see in the theme over and over among Israelites that they don't want to change. You coming into the truth with your nigga self. You want to stay the nigga you was, but only with the exception. Now you got on fringes and you stop eating pork. Okay, great. Azana, my first Peter two and two as newborn babes desire the sincere milk that you may grow thereby. You need milk to grow and you're going to get it through the gospel. But if you harden your heart, the most I'm going to lock you out of the gospel. He's going to harden your heart. and You ain't going to get the understanding. You're going to be walking around thinking that they're fallen angels. This is what you're going to be thinking. I left my banner off. Let's get it. Yeah, got to have. There you go. The names, right? You think it's fallen angels and all types of madness. That's why these people are like that. And when you start doing, let's go back to this. Uh, <laughs> Jason. Hold up here. Jason Scoffner. That's his name. Jason Scoffner. <laughs> so all the men in the Bible had low cut hair. What do you think? They had all types of hair. Afros and low cuts and this and that. They grew their hair out. But then when it got too long, they cut it. They cut it. What about Samson? Samson had seven woven braids. But do you know about Samson? You need to go look up his life and find out what a Nazarite is. Then find out if you could do it. See, most of you guys that claim you want to be Nazarites, guess what? If Samson was here today, what would he be doing? He'd be a warrior of the Lord out there on the highways and hedges because this is how we fight now. He would be sitting behind some avatar someplace, sitting this close to the damn camera, smiling. That ain't what he would be doing. He would be doing the work of the Lord. A Nazarite is a very heavy office. It's a very heavy office. It don't require you not to do anything. So consider wisely. Consider wisely. <clears throat> okay, so we're ready to move on. Just get to the bottom of the comment board. Um, I'm gonna do it fast now. Shalom, all the brothers. You how about you? How shot rock a thumb? The water for the support. Uh oh, John Gotti. <laughs> John Gotti, bald head ass digger. What I do to you, John Gotti? And my head's not bald, by the way. Okay, but thanks. I got something for John Gotti. Let's let's get the scripture right quick. And for all the people that think like that, look. Now you know this guy got locks. If this dude right here don't have dreadlocks, I don't know what his deal is. He's just mad. You hair hater. Always talk about the locks. The locks is a rap group, my nigga. Let's see here. Let me get this scripture up here. Um, hold on here. For people that think like that. Because you know what? I much rather be called a whatever this dude said, a bald head ass nigga than damn uh you know with the truth than have long hair on my back and not have the truth about to be destroyed. I tell you that much. Here we go. Have to read this like every time. Yeah, he got a name of a mob boss, John Gotti. We told you pay attention to the names and avatars. Anybody named John Gotti is not a man of the Pablo Escobar some shit okay finally we got it 
So let's read these for the people that want to ball head ass nigga. Leviticus 13 and 40. And the man whose hair is fallen off his head, he is bald, yet is he clean. Woo. 41. And he that hath his hair fallen off from the part of his head toward his face, you got the receding hairline, he is forehead bald, yet is he clean. You with the long dreadlocks and the hat on your back and the stank, the stank sour hair, you're not clean. The Lord is going to destroy you. He's preparing to mess you up. See? Miguel and Angelo Santiago Jr. Excuse me. i like to learn more. Is there a website or someone I could contact so that I could learn more? The website is called YouTube. You go there and you watch all these great videos and you take notes. That's how you learn. You don't need to contact somebody. Right? You contact the Lord. We're going to teach you the name and you can contact him and pray and learn and fast and take notes. You do all these wonderful things. Right? You don't need a correspondence course, bro. Watch the videos. And take notes. This guy said, I'm a hater. You're right. Them that love the Lord hate evil. I'm a hater. You got me. I hate evil mites just like the Lord does. You got me, bro. See them little feminine, them little uh, sensational words, them little se sensationalism shit that you Jakes try to do. That's just like, you anti-Semitic. No, you anti- You, you know what? <laughs> I'm a hater. <laughs> Come on, man. Damn, that, that's all you can do? That's it? Yeah, this is fire. This is great. This brother got it right on time. <laughs> Elder Monogon. These, these people funny, man. What's wrong with him? Brother said John Body. <laughs> John Body. Jimmy's version out of straight gate. I can't even contain my laughter. Luke 2.34. And Simeon blessed him and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the falling, rising again of many in Israel. And for the sign which shall be spoken against. Yeah, so it shall pierce through thine own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. That's right. This is why this, these things come out. So you can be revealed. So you can be revealed, and we're glad about it. We're glad about it. This is the brother uh Anaf by Ayash, GMS Get Your Mind Right from GMS Indianapolis, Shalawan. So I guess your Howard Shy won't beam my brother up because he has a low haircut. <laughs> Grow up, Israel. That's right. You gonna have they, they say that. So you mean to tell me because I got lots, but I keep all the laws. The Lord ain't going it's got nothing to do with you keeping the laws. It's got to do whether you're chosen. And if you were chosen, can somebody please can we get Romans 8? Is it 29? 28, 29? Y'all know the ones. When you see it, you'll know what I want. It's got to do with whether the Lord chose you or not. And if he chose you, he's going to put a peculiar, specific spirit on you to want to do after what he says do. You can't do nothing on your own. We know that. So we ain't worried about it. This is GMS. Pray always. Hopefully, let Colossians 3 and 5. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth. Fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. You got to put off these things of the world. You got to put off them old ways, you know, and that covetous spirit. You want to have, we know a white with the long hair. You want it because of the women, because the women of the world find that shit attractive, you know. But if you handsome, you wouldn't be handsome with short hair. I mean, I don't get it. It's like a costume to you. It's like that nigga from the hood that you know, every time you see him, he always got on a fitted hat. You ain't even never seen his head before. It's almost like LL Cool J with that goddamn Kango. He wore that Kango so long. So when you finally seen the nigga look funny when you saw him with it off. MC Shan, same thing, right? Flavor, flavor, and goddamn clocks. <laughs> it's part of your outfit. You need it. You need long hair as an outfit. Come on, man. Oh well. Let's see here what we can get. Yep. This is a good comment. This is from uh, I don't know. F L Lee dreadlock dreadlocks is based off of Shiva Jata of Hinduism in India from the from the three eyed god Shiva. And not only did she have three eyes, she had numerous arms and she had dreadlocks like Predator. Let's move it. Yep, this is a good one. 
how it shall abide you. <clears throat> First Corinthians 13 and 11. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. You've got it. I mean, the scripture tells you everything you need to know. It's childish, right? Yep. The brother said it. Tit for tat, Israelites going to be destroyed. Yep. GMS, the troops shall overcome. Galatians 4, 16. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? And the answer is yes, but that's okay. Jake is 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 angry over that hair thing. Yeah, like it's gold in your hair. Like if you cut it, you, what do you think? You're going to lose your strength? When you go into the story of Samson, he didn't lose his strength because he cut his hair. The strength was in the vow. It wasn't in the hair. If that was the case, we could all be strong like mighty men by growing our hair out. It's dumb. <clears throat> Okay, okay, so we get to do uh get on with it. <laughs> yeah, man. A lot of hey, the water brothers for all your great comments. I'm gonna go on. Um yeah, if you are a man with long hair. That's it. If you're a man with long hair, just I mean, you can still watch, but see the real help is gonna is gonna come when shit get bad. And then you have to resort to some of these leaders that you follow and you're going to need advice. And you're going to need help. That's when all that rebellious shit and all that shit talking, it's going to be, it's going to put you in a bad position because Bishop Nate ain't going to be there to help you when shit get bad. These other leaders you, you watching, they ain't going to be there to help you when shit get bad. And if, and if you go against what we teach, we ain't going to be there to help you either when shit get bad. That's how we're going to know. We're going to say what name you've been calling on, what this, what that. So these are going to be questions that come. We, we believe. Okay, so let's get ready to move on. Um, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Larry. I think her name is Larry. <laughs> Not Lawrence. Larry. That's right. Wiggling around the earth. Yep, yep. Yep. Bashar Ban Yam Yam. Jake will let that hair cause him to be put to death. How are you gonna let hair cause you to be put to death? You can keep your hair. You just can't have it down your back. You understand that? GMS take heed Israel. <clears throat> First Samuel 15, 22. And Samuel said, Had the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken. I think it says better than the fat. Yeah, there it is. Better than the fat of rams. It's better than the fat of rams. Just obey what the Lord said do. See? That's all. <clears throat> Elder Brother Zion, GMS, Buffalo. Why y'all heard over something that's in the Bible? It only proves your spirit ain't right. That's it. That's it. And this and you lying. One of your camp members, Shalom Israel 777, or Shalom 777 has long hair. You should make him shave it off. Are you not understanding? The brother don't the brother hair is like right here. You know, he got a different kind of hair. You know, his hair is like right here, maybe to his cheeks. It's not come on, man. Go away. <laughs> Go away. Let's see what else. Running is medicinal. That was the person's name. Yeah, this is a good one. GMS Saints of the Most High. Proverbs 29 and 1. He that being often reproved, hardeneth his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy. That's right. And I'll say this. If there are members in great men, your hair is a little long, you know you need to cut it. We, you think? What do you think? You think that the apostle said no long hair and great millstone, but then there'll be a GMS guy with long hair and they're going to get a pass? That's not going to happen. They're not going to get a pass. Just like if it's brothers that get lineups and shit, lining your beard and shit up, you, hey, this not going to fly. If you've been doing it, just stop doing it. We don't know every single, you know, see every single brother. You know what I mean? It's just what it is. You ain't exposed. We exposed them niggas. Yeah, exposed. Almost did it. <laughs> It's all good. Not worried about it. So let's get ready to move on. Um, I think I'm finally to the end of the comment board here. Let's see. Just hold on, y'all.
We're not hypocrites like that. And we're not hypocrites. Daniel Hodge, I have a question. My hair fell out, but I'm fine with it. My question, how do you feel about wearing hats or do you have to have your head uncovered when you pray to the most high? Yeah, you can. When you get ready to prophesy or pray, your head should not be covered, bro. You know, if you want to wear hats, see that that go with liberty. If you want to wear hats everywhere you go in this part of your outfit, do it. Okay, that's that's all. You know, you can also wear visors. You know, the the ones that hold the top and they got the, you know. This is Jim S. Get your mind right. Anytime someone comes up with a thousand excuses, that means they really don't want to do. The task at hand that's all it is to it and this is gms saints of the most high azana moth ms kabar dama amos three and seven the, the scripture i asked for all right surely the lord power will do nothing but he revealeth his secret unto his servants the prophets you see the lord reveals the secrets to his servants the prophets if you if you somebody that's an israelite you saying you got deep mystery knowledge that means you a prophet but you can't be a prophet. You got no prophetic works. So then you're not a prophet. What are you talking about? You see the men on the houses and hedges doing the work. Those are the prophets right there. And if you ain't, you ain't, I mean, the Lord ain't giving you no deep mysteries. Just keep to yourself to sit on your couch and watch Netflix. That's not what this is about. And the elder brother answered Daniel Hodge. Yes, you have to remove your hat. Okay. If you want to wear hats, you can wear hats, but don't do it when you were doing the ministry. If you're teaching, like you see these guys, Wearing them fitted hats, looking like the world, that's not of the most high. That's some Greekish shit. But in your personal life, when you go, you know, pay bills or you go to work or it's cold out or whatever you're doing, you can wear hats if you want to wear hats. Toboggans, you know, whatever. And Brother Zion had it too. Let's see. Yeah, right. When praying or prophesying, remove your hat. Yep. This is uh come on now. <clears throat> GMS heavy honor, Matthew 7 26. Everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon sand. So when you hear these sayings of your house coming out of the book, because he is the word of the most high, is he not? Then you're likened to a foolish man. Do what the Lord told you to do. You might not like us, but we bring out the word of the Lord. You got to listen to man if you don't want to all right then here's a scripture to back up what the brothers told daniel hodge jim s spiritual army first corinthians 11 and 4 every man praying or prophesying having his head covered dishonoreth his head you dishonor your head bro don't you know don't do it and you know reason why let's say this real quick before we move on the reason why this is a heavy topic in a discussion in that damn um that rebellion comes in jake like that because you see other israelites that are rebellious they're doing that shit they're wearing fitted hats they look got dreads down their back every group that you see you see men with long hat you see it in sakar you see it in isupk you see it in hoi you see it in iuic right you see it in believers of the way uh whoever else you follow you see these israelites doing that and they going off even the little group that's down here them uh what's they call tabernacle of zion and facebook israelites they want to steal our spots and teach. See, they don't have no understanding. And the one little guy with the long hair, everybody got on that dude about that long hair. He ain't going to cut it. He's going to be a, re a rebel. But that's okay. Do what you do. <clears throat> and at the end of the day, dude that was asking the question, his conscience got to him. That's why he brought it up. Nobody would have ever known, but he had to blurt it out on the comment board in a damn gigantic run-on sentence. Jim S. Spiritual Army, Ecclesiastes or Sirach, 14 and 2. Blesses he whose conscience hath not condemned him and who is not fallen from his hope in the Lord. The truth will can be taken from you. You can lose the spirit. You be rebellious, you can lose the spirit. Then you're going to be in a worse position than, where, than trying to decide whether you cut your hair or not. I'll tell you what, I'd rather have the, hair, the long hair gone and have the spirit of the Lord than to not have it and have the long hair, as I said before. Jim is faithful under death. He is being tested, just like we all were when the decree was made to cut our hair. This prove our apostles gave that order through the spirit is shaking up the sifter. And uh, another brother on the comment board, I ain't going to say who it was, another elder brother on the comment board, he said he had to do the same thing in his camp. He had to put somebody on the other side because they refused to cut their hair. 
It's a long haired demon. It's a demon. It's an evil spirit on you. It's a spirit of vanity, whatever else. Let's get ready to go on. All right. Yeah, right. And you see that a lot. These these Nazarites, because they can have long hair with no beard. All these Old Testament only Israelites, they don't even have beards. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. It's all good. I'll just get one more testimony. His brother says, uh, I love my hair. A decree was made, so I cut my hair with faith that it must be for the best, whether I understand or not. Plus, I love salvation more than my hair. You heard it. Yep, yep, that's right. And the brothers put the scripture up. And the Jake called me a bald head, bald head nigga. Bashar Banyamyan, the most high killed 42 children for calling his prophet bald head. Here it is right here. Um, Jim Escobar Dama, 2 Kings 2.23. And he went up from thence from Bethel. And as he was going up, by the way, there came four little children out of the city and mocked him and said unto him, go up thou bald head. Come on now. There it is. Go up thou bald head. Go up thou bald head. Then what happened? And turned back and looked on them and cursed them in the name of the Lord. And they came forth two she bears out of the wood and tear forty and two children of them. Woo and you just never know. You might go out into the yard, go to the mailbox or something. And two bears might jump out and maul you to death. <laughs> it's all good. Yep. GMS. GMS only for the remnant. Damn. Long hair and dreadlocks. A stumbling block for Jake. Yep. The Lord is going to destroy you disrespectful niggas in the most painful ways. Yes, we agree. Let's keep it moving. The brother said he's the real hater. GMS spiritual art, Psalms 81 and 15. The haters of the Lord shall be submitted unto themselves, but their time should have endured forever. Right. You should have been part of the elect, but nope. You haters of the Lord. So let's go on. Let's get over. You got more. So you, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring all new scripture to your brother's mind. You see this other rebellion right here. So let's get into it. We're leaving the long hair demon behind now. Let's move on. We spent a long time on it, you know. Damn. There's way more scriptures here, though. And uh, the, the scripture I called for was Romans 8, <clears throat> 29 through 30. The brothers put it up, but we're just going to move on now. The water, the water brothers. Yep, you can easily join IUIC with long hair and locks. They would love to have you over there. That's all. No hard feeling. Just go join IUIC. That's it. Just do, you know, go do that. Just go do that. Hmm. <laughs> that insecure demon is on them too. Jake is afraid to show their hairline. Oh, man. You got to get past it. Like I said before, if you was handsome, if you handsome with long hair, you'll be handsome with short hair. She gonna still find your handsome, right? If you're doing it right, we will get our headlines back in the kingdom. Man, that's gonna be a great day. My shit, be, you know, patches. But you know what? You just make the best out of a bad situation. That's all we all doing. But Sharban Yam Yam, before I came into the truth, I had about six feet of hair. When I learned that it was a heathen custom, I cut that shit real quick. I had an early dose of fear of the Lord. And the Most High will punish your ass if you don't listen. If you're supposed to be one of his men and you don't listen, he's going to punish you. He will make you sick. He'll make your ass pee blood. He'll make a roach crawl in your damn ear. He'll make you where you can't sleep at night. You'll be walking around tired as hell in the daytime, can't get no sleep. The Lord will do some crazy stuff to you. But you'll find out. You'll find out. We done told you, 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 Jakes. If you don't want to listen, we can't make you listen. Toby Terrell, can you research Squid Game? Uh, it, that's not the mark. The mark of the beast is the RFID chip, Toby. Grits, dummy. <laughs> Poke. Toby, it's not the mark of the beast. The RFID chip is the mark of the beast, bro. Sorry you don't like it, but that's what it is. Stop trying to get around it. It ain't got nothing to do with no stupid, you know, 
stuff that they put in you it's not that's not it because if that's the case none of us took it why why can we still buy and sell why toby that's right yep the king said these women want a man not another female well yeah for the most part the real women want a man these women of the world they do it all but the brother being you know righteous women <clears throat> okay so let's move on salakia that's boring thousands on everybody's gonna ever read all that talking shit about these stupid drill it's gonna be blocked we're not gonna deal with it we done with we done with it already you can do what you want to do so then there's other people so let's move on now to the um what's the video call here hold on okay so we're done with the long hair demon now let's deal with the spirit of mirth the partying spirit right among the israelites and you got a lot of people and every time we make a video you can support the negative behavior they come and talk shit. <clears throat> just let me get it together here <clears throat> All right, hold on, good people. <clears throat> All right, hold on, good people. My apologies. Just, just give it a second here. My apologies. Just, just give it a All right, so let's address this. This is a post that was put up by the brother uh, Shapa of the Twelve, right? Just give me a second. Let me get my fan plugged up. <clears throat> All right, so Salakia, Salakia for the delay. So this is a post that was put up by the brother Shapa of the Twelve, and it was made by that that same group. You can see it right here, the same group that that the video came from, partying and shit. This is what the guy had to say on a post. I think his name is Yashamai. He said, "Y'all make serving the Lord look boring. These commandments ain't grievous. Come and party with me." Post dedication, post feast of dedication, vlog day seven. And you can see it right here. This is a thing that Jake is using. They're talking shit. The brother says, so not partying in captivity makes the Lord look boring. Jake out of his mind. This is the guy's post. Y'all make serving the Lord look boring. 
these commandments ain't grievous come and party with me. So this that that spirit of mirth that's on Jake. That party and this shit, have fun, have fun spirit. That's what it is. And you got many people that that feel like that. that this is one guy. This is called uh this video was called Many of the Hebrew Israelites. Many of these Hebrew Israelites are not born again. So the guy says, Jake can't dance now. Jake got to be angry and depressed or it's not the truth. They did nothing wrong. If you saw the video, when did I ever say, when did you hear any of us say you got to be depressed 24 seven or that you can't dance? Do we ever say that? But this is what happens. Your nuts get crushed when you're feminine, you're emotional, you're in a bitch ass spirit. You start just saying shit. It's the same thing as when, when Bishop Nate pulled out first Corinthians 13 and nine, because he don't know what the mark of the beast is and he can't deal with it. And he keep changing his doctrine. What did he say? Watch out for anybody said he got a hundred percent truth, right? We know him part. We prophesy him part. He discredited the Holy spirit to formulate or to solidify his own argument. This is the same thing. These niggas do. This is the spirit of hurtness, right? The spirit of bitch assness. You see that you start off with that, but you're going to see where this guy goes. See where he goes with it. Jake can't dance now. You angry, depressed, or it's not true? They did nothing wrong. I said the video explained it, but you missed the point. But that's okay. You're not born again either. Don't come back to this channel. Didn't block him, didn't do nothing. Jake came back with a goddamn con. I mean, book. I'm going to show it to you. This, this. And another thing, All right. I think this is it. Oh, no, that ain't it. Let's see where 
Okay, we'll read a little bit here. Um, just hold on here, brothers. Yo, Salakia, damn. <clears throat> One more. All right. <clears throat> So when Jake made the comment about uh you being, he says, Jake can't dance now. You got to be angry and depressed or it's not the truth. They did nothing wrong. And I told him the video explained it, but you missed the point. But that's okay. You're not, you're not born again either. Don't come back to this channel. So then he put up this long comment. Is everybody still there? Let me see. Let me check it out. Still there, brothers and sisters? I believe you are. So let's keep it moving. So this is the, the comment that he put up. He came back. He said, you think Jesus had a cup in his hand? He was quoting what he thinks I said in the video, but I never said that. I said, you you think that Yahweh Shai had was walking around drinking and partying is what I said. But he think he's quoting me. He says, you think Jesus had a cup in his hand drinking? You think the Lord was doing that? He says, LOL, do you know how? Do you know Yahweh Shai? He was a drinker. Nobody ever said he wasn't a drinker. We know he was a drinker. His critics called him a wine bibber. What's it got to do with you jumping around like a fucking chicken wing all night, bouncing and prancing and partying? It's got nothing to do with that. But here he is deflecting because this is what females do. Matthew 11 and 9. Do you think he was drinking in a corner depressed? Or was he laughing and having a good time? Wasn't Judea oppressed? At that time, do you think that means that that couldn't have a party or a good and a good time? Again, they did do nothing wrong. They didn't do anything wrong. We were dancing, but they were not loose. Those were very tame dances. How do you know you wasn't there? One thing you don't do is have your woman around other men, especially when you're drinking alcohol. That was what was being called a question. You you wasn't there. You seen them loose ass women dancing all in the camera. They don't. They're not supposed to be seen like that. But you don't understand that. What's the dude name? Dietrich J. With a damn green line, of red face, and a crumpled face. Content. He says the women were dancing, but they were not loose. Those are very tame. Dances. And the women are allowed. Are they? Again, this is not against any law. You even admit that they didn't do anything wrong, but that, but they shouldn't have it. Not a sin. You are just jealous and miserable, and you want everyone else to be miserable too. <laughs> Number one, I'm not miserable. I'm not jealous. What am I jealous of? A party? You think you can't have a party? The verse you brought out about the flesh does not apply here because they aren't doing anything wrong. Drinking and dancing is not a work of the flesh. There was no excess of wine or rye. You act like he was at the party. Clearly, you saw them drinking and they was drunk. There was no excess of wine or riot. No one was stumbling drunk from what I saw. Why film it? Because they can. <laughs> the apostles were Israelites too, but they drank and did the same thing Yahweh Shai did. He said, Let's get to it. Hold up here. Okay. All right. So he said here, the apostles did the same thing Yahweh Shai did. Listen to this. Now you start going off. 
Being depressed is not spiritual. If you were spiritual, you would know what is spirit and what is not when you saw it. And the scripture you mentioned about indecency does not apply here. I don't think I read the scripture saying anything indecent. He just listened to the ghost in his head. These people that they did pointed out because I meant I'll wait, but you won't reply with what they actually did wrong. You're going, you're just going to tell me not, not to come back to your channel. I don't intend to. Now I, I said that There's nothing wrong with it. This is Ecclesiastes. He said being depressed is not spiritual. Ecclesiastes two seventeen. Therefore, I hated life. Because the work that is wrought under the sun is grievous unto me for all this vanity and vexation of spirit. Sound like, you know, being in an angry spirit to me. Ecclesiastes 118 for much wisdom is much grief. And he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. Let's explain it. The more you learn. Once you learn about your, that, you're really in captivity. That you don't have rulership, that you're underneath these devils and that you can't have control over your children and your life and your, even your woman, your very own job situation. It can bring grief when you learn that everything is fake or the food is not right and this and that. It brings you grief. The more understanding you get, the more the less likely you're going to be to be in a party spirit. This is how we can look at them frolicking, dancing fools and tell you that they don't know shit. They just know the Israelites. and They just so happy to be an Israelite, which is nothing wrong with that. But he can't even get the point as, as into why record it. It's not edif edif edification. It's not edifying. It's not giving anybody the things that you need in order to make it out of this, this stuff alive. It's not giving you that. You can look anywhere and see niggas partying. Can we not? It's the same old shit. But he's defending. Here you are defending worldly behavior. But that's because he's not born again. And that's okay that he, that he thinks like that. Answer you know, continued on with sir. Ecclesiastes 7 and 2. It tells you, should, what, what spirit should you, should you be in? Should you be in a party in spirit? Well, not according to this. It is better to do the healing than For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. You sit down, sit your ass down, close your damn mouth. You've been partying since you found out. Since since before you even knew you was an Israelite, you've been partying and being wild and doing all kind of shit. Now you're going to come into the truth and do the same shit you've been doing? And I read scriptures in the uh, video. The time is past of our life to have suffice to suffice us when we wrought the will of the Gentiles. You did that already. Verse 4, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. If you wise... You're going to understand what situation that you're in and that you need a savior to get you out of this. You ain't going to be partying like you ain't got nothing to worry about. We're about to go through the worst time in the history of our people. And here you are partying and yucking it up like fools. But the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. When you're in a mirth, you're partying. You're living it up. You're drinking. You're doing everything you saw me in that, in, doing in that video. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for men. For a man, hold on. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. Again, you met before, and now you are in your feelings. Another emotional Israelite, you are full, nor are you born again as previously stated. This is only for the elect. Anyway, run along. And he never came back. I gave him scriptures. He never came back. So I blocked him, of course. So then there was another another person. And we'll read some off the comment board, too, if we get opportunity to. This thing is, like, majorly delaying on me. But y'all just be patient. So like you. That's not it. Uh, this right here. I right, saw that. I think we saw that. Okay. So we got one more to deal with. Let's deal with it.
Diana Rivera said, you need practice because your reading is off. <laughs> Cállate la boca. Cállate. Dizzy bro. Okay. Every time now. All right, here's here's another one. <clears throat> this person, my salvation, right? I don't even know where he started coming from. I guess he wanted to argue about another video. Same, same video. Although many of the is many of these is Hebrew Israelites are not born again. My salvation didn't Jesus coat by a sword, or did I miss something? Here we go with that again. And then he goes on. Why didn't God stop the killing of our people in the grocery store? It was an evil world we live in. And they were always trying to kill the disciplines. <laughs> I think he meant disciples. So he's making a case. You should rise up in armed rebellion. Let's read him again. Didn't Jesus tell his disciples to sell their coat and buy a sword? Or did I miss something? Why? So let me tell you why. Because they were fucking wicked. And judgment came on them. You need to stop and wake up, bro. This is an evil world we live in. They were always trying to kill. I'm, I'm sure he meant was one of the arguments. Just hold on here. All right, so my response was, yeah, you missed something. I just did a whole lesson on that. Stop leaning on your own understanding, Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thine own understanding. And I think Jake really just, I understand that frame of thought. That whole thing about defending yourself. But see, we gonna, we gonna, I did a lesson on it already. I'm going to put the link up on the comment board now. For those that haven't seen it because it explains all of that you can't take the feelings that you have and the oppression that you've experienced to try to supersede what the lord told you to do if you do do it you're gonna wind up dead making a case for the people in buffalo and the terrible things that happened to our people you're doing the same thing the world does you're taking away the accountability from those that died because the wages of sin can somebody put a romans 6 23 please the wages of sin is death when you do things against the Lord, you'll wind up dead. This is what happens to you. You point out things that happen to other people does not give you the right to rise up in armed rebellion because you, I'm, I'm tired of this. I'm tired. The Lord said we're going to be oppressed and crushed always. You need to get inside of the secret place of the Lord, which is in this truth. 
this helps you with the with the anger and the sadness and the bitterness. And so weapons, we come with the weapons of the truth and we cut these devils down. And the Lord will give you comfort. I shall send you another comforter. This is what we're dealing with. Otherwise, you're gonna go crazy. We gotta do something. And you're gonna wind up your fist balled up. We gotta do something, brother. <laughs> Fuck around. Do, 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 do. You did something, you died. Happy now? Because that's what's gonna happen. All you zealous Jakes. We warning you from the Lord. If you don't listen, you're gonna wind up dead. He be calling for us while you're in prison. You was one of my books. No. Azanama, Romans 6 23. For the wages of sin is death. Do you, do you understand that? The wages of sin is death. When you get when you do a job or you do works, you get a check for it, right? Your wages. You get a check, you look at the check, it's FICA, you know, all this taxes coming out. But when you do this. Work of iniquity, your wage is death. Jake always looking at something that happened to wicked niggas and trying to make it like well, God ain't do nothing. You could happen to George Floyd. George Floyd was, was taking did you know that? He was doing other wicked shit, committing adultery. It's a wonder the nigga didn't die before that. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the most high is eternal life. How you gonna get it? Through Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, our Lord. That's the only way. That's the only way you get out of this alive. And even then, only if you're chosen. And even when you come into the truth, you still might wind up dying. Story right now. This lady, I guess she's doing fireworks. And firecracker got lodged in a dress or somewhere and it blew up and killed her. That's judgment from the Lord. There was another one. What happened? The man had a loaded gun in his house and the dog stepped on it. The gun shot him and killed him. All types of little things are happening to people, but why? The devil did it. <laughs> nope, the Lord did it. You better get with it. You people are, are fu you fucking babies. Do, do y'all see now why? And I know y'all know. This is why Jake be getting cussed out. This is why they get cussed out and rebuked and made mockery of because they act like little children. They act like little kids. And the Lord going to do a lot of killing these niggas. Everyone who has something negative to say, may the Lord put ground in your mouth while you sleep and you choke on it. Maybe you choke on spit. You got to be a come to the Lord. You got to save me, Howell. I'm righteous. Shit. Lord, mess your whole damn lineage up. Everybody be born retarded from here on out. You don't want to mess around with Allah Shadra, man. The most I mess your ass up. But it's okay. You can abuse us, but don't use you. That's what's going to happen. Let's read a few scriptures. And that's right, brother. Yep. If I'm, if I understand it correctly, the woman that talked and I told her, Kayate Laboka, this brother put up this, uh, hold on here. If I can get this show up. Mayhur as stupid. Right? That's who? A stupid woman. <laughs> stupid woman. And look, Jake's just making up accounts now to come talk shit. Look at this. Let's, let's find it. <laughs> People don't really understand that. We find you scoffers and you deem. We find you funny. We don't get that frustrated. Look, look at this guy. Oh, it's probably a woman. M-H-I-C-B. What does that stand for? Most High Christ Bless. What's the name of the Lord? Most High Christ, you stupid ass. G mess dancing and clubbing on IG though. I don't know nothing about it. I don't know nothing about it. If you see brothers dancing and clubbing, they're not in fringes having it. Is the life party? You stupid niggas. You ain't never seen me in no club dance party. So unless you see me doing it, you can shut up. Yep, that's right, brother. Right in the middle of the game. This had just started. That football player had a heart attack in the middle of the field last night. Judgment from the Lord. And you don't know if he's going to be right. And you know why he had a heart attack. First, I thought it was a hit. I was like, damn, it wasn't that hard of a hit. But then when they brought out he had cardiac arrest, we all know what that was about. They took that stuff to keep playing in the NFL. Now look, mama in the ambulance with him crying. All the teammates. Ain't nobody wanted to go back and play football after that. Niggas making millions of dollars. Nobody wanted to play. It's going to be more about it. It's going to come out. We're going to see. Most high Christ, please, stupid niggas. 
wait till the ground open up and swallow about a thousand purple and gold Israelites. Man, we might make videos and saying it's sad, but inside, woo, woo, inside. Romans 79. For I was alive without the law once, but when the commandment came, sin revived and I died. Verse 10. If we can get it to show up. And the commandment which was ordained to life, I found to be unto death. You got to learn, Jake. Let's get the other verse. Verse 11. Computer moving very slow. Salakia. For sin, taking occasion by the commandment, deceived me, and by it slew me. Come on. Mm. The holy and the command holy, just good. You got to follow what I said, do. We never said that you danced, that you couldn't party. We said, don't film it and put it up. Why are these things being advertised as Israelite functions? Why are you doing that? It doesn't make any sense. You want to know as Israelites, you part. That's why when they started out that video, they always had to preface that we're gonna celebrate these holy days. Shut the fuck up. We're gonna celebrate these feasts. You niggas. Hold on, y'all. One quick second. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, okay. So somebody said uh right here. 47 gaming 74. Purple and gold is how you I see bad. I've been telling my little brother about them. Should I stop? Thank you. Why don't you go ask them? You here with us, but you asking us is purple and gold bad? Is IUIC bad? Do we have on purple and gold? Why you if, if you people that watch IUIC, if you so into what they're saying, why are you here with us now? Why? You must be missing something. I mean, oh overall, they teach some truth, but they be going off on a lot of stuff. And they go off in our major things like the name of the Lord. Will there be Jacob's trouble? Can you have sex on the Sabbath? I mean, major stuff. You're going to wind up dead following. You don't listen. You don't have to listen. So y'all brothers, y'all see what is, you know, there's so many scriptures that we can go into about it, but we've been going on long enough. You just see the rebellious nature of, of these Israelites. It's like they're not, they feel like they're not even doing anything unless they can go and party and shake their funky. Yes. When did they fight? Or did I miss something? I, I said, Yeah, you missed it. And I gave him the link to the video. Just go watch them both. You'll be honest with that. So let's, did, yeah, on the video that we did yesterday, there was a lot of good comments on the comment board from the brothers. I want to share some of them. Let's see if we can do it here. Before we go, because <clears throat> most of the brothers do get it. Hebrew Israelites are not just for y'all. All right, here's the video here. <clears throat> and we're going to visit the comment board. There's some good comments here. This brother, Royal Priesthood, who has a ministry, he make video and teach. He said, Jake still don't take anything seriously. Having a good time is the last thing on my mind since coming into the truth. And he don't mean just having a good time. Like you get off work, you go home, you drink, you eat. That ain't what he talk about. He talking about going to a club and partying and standing there with your mouth open with fringes on. That's what he's talking about. And again, you can do that stuff, but don't film it and put it up. You know, that's not a video that you're going to edify anybody with. It just shows your folly. Like, I, like I'm going to take the most folly-filled moments of my life and record them and then put them up for your consumption. I'm not going to do that. You think we don't do stuff, we don't have fun, we don't go for a ride, we don't go here or there? Yeah, but we don't record it. 
Shit, when I was in Dallas, when Dallas brothers, man, you beat, you get with them brothers. You teach on Friday, then on Saturday they have class. After class is over, you know what we do? We turn up. If you want to say that, we brothers just be watching the game, watching the fight, playing the game, drinking, eating, laughing, and joking, doing whatever we doing. We ain't recording that for nobody's consumption because it's none of your business. It's none of your business other than what I just told. But y'all already know that. Everything is always the scriptures first and then you can do that other stuff but you don't need to record that kind of, you know, going on down to the beach and getting it playing throwing my wife in the pool i don't need to, you don't need to see that this is gms page master which is a brother uh elder kazak from mississippi luke 16 and 8 and the lord commended the unjust steward because he had done wisely for the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light which means what the unjust unjust steward was a wicked Israelite. And in any event, the wicked judges, Esau, Edom, they do wisely. You saw what, what uh, that little Edomite boy was learning from his daddy, how to drop the clip, put a new clip in the gun. That boy couldn't have been older than seven and eight, seven or eight. His daddy got him learning how to deal with weaponry. And you niggas is partying and grinning and showing all your damn teeth. It's not going to help you do anything. The same ones that'll turn around and tell you we got to defend ourselves didn't look like it to me. You defend yourself by getting close to the Lord. That's how you do it. This is a Zion Banyamyan, Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, formed by the renewing of mind, the good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. That's it. You can't be conformed to this world. You got to put off that old man. Tazayar Moth. Jeremiah 6 16, thus saith Yahweh, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths, where is the good way and walk, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. Jake is parting, meanwhile, Esau is preparing. You saw it. <clears throat> Let's see what else we got. 517. Therefore, if any man be in the Hamashiach, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And then he said, niggas with fringes on. That's what you saw. That's all it is. And everybody can identify that. Yerumya Gabar says the wicked are perfecting their sword and coming for Israel, but Jake perfecting dance moves. Jeremiah 6 26. O daughter of my people, gird thee with sackcloth and wallow thyself in make morning, make thee mourning as for an only son, most bitter lamentation, for the spoiler is suddenly come upon us. That's what's gonna happen. The spoiler is Esau Edom, right? Their whole leg says it's either a Christian version of being an Israelite or it's a Babylonian version of being an Israelite. It's just returning to Yahweh while Yahweh shy and learning what our actual heritage is by precepts, laws, and prophecies. Once GMS came up on my algorithms, it was a wrap. I've learned how much we've actually lost, but that we are being restored as well. Baruch 223. And they show captivity and upon my name. You can't celebrate American type things with the same energy once you realize by the spirit that this is the literal land of our captivity. This is an embarrassing yet extremely better revelation and prophecy to continue to act out the false identity that was fed to us in this prison is madness. I am so freaking thankful that I am able to hear GMS because now I read the Bible differently. And I hear it differently. The water for all your labors. And really, really the things go to the most high. To come out of this, that way of thinking that we used to have is a great blessing. Stay in that niggledom. And be that. 
nigga sells. It's We'll read a few more. This computer is moving too slow. Um, all right. <clears throat> this brother, uh, brother Bayan, got a good scripture. Isaiah 116 says, Wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes, cease to do evil. Learn to do well, seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, plead for the widow, which is Israel. The widow is Israel. Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If you be willing, but if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. That's right. There you go. This is our uh, image matter, 1 Corinthians 10 and 7. Neither be ye idolaters as, as were some of them. As it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play, which is what they was doing when Moses went up to the mountain. He came back. What was they doing? The golden calf, playing, eat, drinking, doing folly. Then the same spirit now. Same spirit now. But that's okay. This one, be cool. Shalom, this how it's done, turning up in righteousness and for the feast days. All praises to the most high. You see, he got a wrong name. Aya. This, this guy. <laughs> and I let him stay on the comment board just so I could just show you. <clears throat> so my reply to him was welcome to destruct you too are not born again you don't even have, have the right name we know you don't know shit get lost no way you already lost. proverbs 14 and 7 go from the presence of a foolish man when i perceive it's not in him the lips of knowledge he's got no knowledge why deal with him So, you know, there was a lot of other great. All right. So the connection is so damn bad. It just increasingly got worse here. Ever since I went out of town and came back, it's just been worse and worse. But anyway, y'all get the idea. You see what it is, what it was, and what it ain't never going to be. These Jakes. At the end of the day, the truth is just for who it's for. You can't tell them that. They're going to continue to do, lash out with their little petty insults and little games they play. That's okay. You'll remember these days when, when something terrible happened. This is most name servant of your house, Shai, Matthew 24, 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Come on. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. That's perfect. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the son of man be. That's exactly how it's coming. You can see it's going to catch so many off guard because they're more focused on the, they're focused on the wrong stuff. On the wrong stuff. This is a Zana moth. Proverbs 124, because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear coming. This is what's going to happen. And how's the Lord going to mock through his men? Don't expect us to bend over back and try to help a nigga once we done did all this teaching and all you did was talk shit and mock over some hair. I mean, 
mean, come on, really? So we're ready to shut it down. I got one more here. Uh, um, somebody just put up all the way from Switzerland. 12 tribes of Israel, Job eleven fourteen. If iniquity be in thine hand, put it far away and let not wickedness dwell in thy tabernacles. That's right. You got to put off them old works. And if you don't do it, then you know what's going to happen. So y'all saw it. Lord willing, you got edification out of it. And we'll see you again soon, Lord willing. All right. You how about you, man? I was shy, Barack Obama. Thank you. And all praise to you. How about you, man? I was shy.